Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Rider Ramblings. Um, it's a bit wet and also I'm in somewhere I don't know where I am, which is even better. I like this. Uh, we were going to do the vacuum pump video, how to use it uh, today. And uh, I did go down to the garage, but I really, really, really need more light in my garage. As um, the video was um, unusable, it was very grainy and uh, pretty horrid in general. Uh, so I've taken some photos and I'll do a photo montage video which will come out uh, probably the end of this week, there or thereabouts. A uh, couple of things that you might want to know about it. First of all, it worked. It did what it said on the tin. There were a few gotchas in that the hose that comes with it was um, too big for a couple of the uh, bleed nipples and uh, just the right size for the brake, back brake so um, bleed nipple but the rest it I had real problems with trying to get it to um, stay on the uh, the bleed, the bleed nipple it really um, was a, a, a bit of a problem, so I shall invest in um, one of these little clippy things that you put over the end of the hose, that uh, spring clip things that you can put over the end of the hose that uh, will actually grip the, the nipple, I think, and do it that way. Um, And, um, but it did exactly what it said on the tin. It made my life immeasurably easier. Uh, not having to reach around and try and pump the brake lever at the same time as opening the nozzle. It was very, very easy, I say. Um, I did try a, a, a different hose, different tube. Um, and that proved to be slightly too small. I had to warm the end up slightly and to get it over. And for some reason that kept slipping off as well. Uh, so that was that was that. And uh, one of the reasons it's been a bit quiet videoing is that I've been back to England Shire but uh, we were in the car this time and uh, had a really good time most enjoyable excellent lunch um, out near Mercy Island very good chat very 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 interesting and there is the possibility I said a possibility that I might be over in England Shire next year to do the um, Northwest North Coast, sorry, 500. Um, very possible. We will have to see. And then uh, we went to St Albans Cathedral for. Uh, Queen by Candlelight. And strangely enough, uh, somebody from my school was there on the same night. I didn't actually see him because he was um, uh, quite a few rows behind. Uh, so we didn't ac I didn't actually get to see him. I didn't know he was there. It was only afterwards that we found out that we'd both been to Queen by Candlelight in St Albans Cathedral. Uh, that was quite good, actually. That was uh, that was quite good. I enjoyed that. Um, so we did that, and then we did um, something else, which 
sounds not very interesting, but actually proved to be most interesting indeed. And that was a thing called hymns and pims at uh, one of the churches. And what there was was a, was a small choir, um, and we all sang a hymn. And what they did was when they introduced the hymn, they actually gave information about who wrote it, why it was written, who did the music, which types of music, because there are sometimes different uh, music to the same hymn, and this type of thing. And it was actually very interesting here learning about these um, hymns. If you're wondering why I'm going slowly, I did come back up this road about uh, two and a half hours ago and uh, there are some slippery patches as I found out so I'm taking it a bit easier and plotting my way round to keep off the slippery patches uh, when leaned over because uh, the back end did go a bit oopsie at one point uh, on that so hymns and pims, and then afterwards we uh, we had pims, which was very nice, and it was all for church funds. And I understand the church made a profit, which is uh, always good. Um, on that, as it was the first one they've done. Uh, so I'm not a a religious person. It was just sounded interesting, and uh, so we went and. Uh, enjoyed that. On that. Yeah. Uh, so what else did we do? Oh yes, I, I had um, another lunch, yes. More lunches with a, an old school friend uh, who I haven't seen for about four, four or five years. And that was very enjoyable indeed. We were able to catch up and uh, find out what everybody's been doing. You stay there, mate, behind that tractor. Thank you. Um, and that was at the uh, the Fox Inn in Finchingfield. Uh, very good indeed. And uh, the same evening, believe it or not, uh, I was at a wine tasting. And uh, these were very interesting Eastern European wines. Um, there were, I think, six, if I remember rightly. Can't remember. Uh, it was very good. Would I buy the wines? I might buy one of them. I might. But the others, probably, probably not. Um, sorry, I don't know if you can hear me. We'll have to see if this video comes out because the, the audio quality might be a bit iffy. We will see. Um, on that. So, yes, we had a, a very good time. And then the following day, we, uh, we came back on the, uh, the old channel. Uh, for some reason, there was a, about a half hour delay uh, getting on the the train. Don't know why. They didn't tell us why. They just said sorry for the delay um, on that. But apart from that, it was a good do. One of the interesting things that we found uh, was that uh, certain items in the UK are much cheaper than in France. And these are things that you wouldn't necessarily think would be cheaper. So, for example, uh, perfume in ordinary perfume shops uh, was a good deal cheaper in the UK than it than it is in France. It's uh, a lot more expensive in France. This isn't buying it duty free. This is actually buying it in a in a perfume shop um, and things like that. Um, so I brought back uh, a number of items. We were within our limits of what we're allowed to bring back and so on, which was uh, quite good. Uh, I've become a, 
a bit boring in my old age. You know, I tend to stick to the limits. I think this is because I've been stopped on a number of occasions and uh, being within the limits um, means that uh, you don't have a problem at all with uh, the douaniers uh, because uh, it seems to be the French customs that uh, tends to to stop you uh, I think they're looking for for food more than anything else they're looking for for you bringing food back because um, so I'm told the, the uh, regulations for fu for producing food in England are, or in the UK are um, not quite as stringent as that uh, in Europe so they don't like you bringing food over for some reason or other but that's life it is that's life so yes I'm in the middle of nowhere it's good this uh, we've had a bit of a, a foul day as you can see the bike's a bit wet and I've got the old waterproofs on uh, the weather forecast when I checked it did say there was zero percent chance of rain and it poured down <laughs> so they got that one wrong um, they did say it was going to rain this morning and it did but I left this afternoon and um, when they said there was zero chance of rain and uh, we've had quite a few showers unfortunately never mind so that's that please let me know what you've been up to and I will put together the the video on using the um, the vacuum pump and I'll go into more detail as to the problems I found with it um, because it wasn't all plain sailing but all, uh, all the problems actually do have a suitable fix a workaround so that's not a big deal at all okay so please like comment share and subscribe if you know a better way of keeping the bleed hose onto the bleed nipple um, other than using these little spring clip thingies uh, please put them in the comments below thank you very much and I'll see you next time